have the names uh, of uh, things, uh, place or people. Uh, they are for types of noun, uh, con uh, concrete, uh, proper, collective, and abstract. Yeah, very good. So as we said, we have four types of nouns. Names of things, places, people. So names, like phone, table, apple, places, like uh, hospital, school, people, like Mr. Omar, Asil, Yusuf, Ahmed, Khadija. So these are nouns, asma. And we have four types of nouns. We have concrete, proper, collective, and abstract. رح ندرس كل واحد فيهم ونشرح كل واحد معناهم ونشوف أمثلة لكل واحد فيهم. Okay, we will explain each one of these nouns of these these types of nouns and we will see some examples each. Let's have this one concrete noun. Let's have someone else to read. Miss Sadil, can you read this one concrete noun? Yes, I can read it. A concrete noun is a physical thing, usually is usually something you can see or touch. Very good. Yeah, a well, concrete noun, not not the asma, the mumkin in it, the chuva, with the misa, little apple, cat, diary, okay, garage, table, pull out the long one, a sheet, mumkin, the chufu, or tell misu, or then some me concrete noun. Clear. Mm-hmm. But what is the name of the lake? Lake. Uh, it's Bohaira. Lake. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. We have needle. It's Ibra. Lake. Bohaira. Needle. Ibra. Now moving on to proper noun. Proper noun. Let's have someone else to read. Proper noun. Mr. Hassan, would you like to read? Can you read this? Yeah, I can. Yes. Can you read, please? A proper noun always begin with a capital letter. It is the name of person, uh, a place, or an, an institution. An institution. Very good. Proper noun. Yeah. دائماً تبدأ بالحرف الأول بيكون كبير. It is the name of a person. ممكن يكون اسم شخص مثل حسن. So the H we need to write it big. For example, Hassan, like this. Or Omar, or like this. Okay, or okay. Ms. Sadil, like this. So the first letter always capital, big. These, we are talking about a person. A place, for example, Istanbul, you write the I, for example, like this. So the I must be big. Or a name of a, an institution, Idara, for example, Beckingham Palace, the British Museum, Muthaf al Britani, the Royal Navy. So, the name of an institution. So, proper nouns, the first letter, the first capital. The person, place, or institution. Then, everything is clear so far? It's cool. Any questions? Good. Now moving yes. on to collective nouns. Collective noun هي الأسماء الجماعية. So let's have someone to read. Mr. Omar, would you like to read this one? Collective noun? Yes. A collective noun uh, refers to a group of obje objects. Uh, animals or people, it is a singular word, uh, word but most collective nouns can be uh, made uh, plural. Here are a few examples. Very good. Can we tell? So let's say, for example, we have kharuf in Arabic. So let's explain Arabic and then we'll go back to English. For example, adna kharuf. Okay? Kharuf and an another kharuf. So it is kharufain. But if we have a lot, a lot of them, and a lot of them, then we'll say قطيع قطيع من الخرفان Okay? Or we have حمامة and we have a group of الحمام then we'll سرب من الحمام So the same thing, the same way in English. نفس الشيء So collective nouns, 
refers to a group of objects, animals, or people. It is a singular word, but most collective nouns can be made plural. Here is a few examples. So let's have a look at these examples. We have chore, shores, flock, herd, orchestra, team. هذا كله كل هذه ال ال الكلمات أو nouns هي collective nouns. So chore هذه group of people that uh, sing. يعني بعض ال الناس اللي بيكون مجموعة وبيغنوا. Flock, herd, herd. يا ما قلنا هي القطيع. قطيع. Orchestra المجموعة من العازفين. Okay. يكون عازف كمان عازف طبلة هذه المجموعة كلها اللي بيعزفوا بنسميها orchestra we have team for example we have one player two players three players ten players لما يكون عندنا فريقين so we call team so this is collective now collective now هي أسماء مجموعة we will study more of these رح ندرس أمثلة كتير على هذا وكل واحدة فيهم لايش نستعملها؟ اوكي؟ okay. سو so, يعني كل مكان مهم يعني تيم، وي كانت سي تيم اوف شيب. يعني فريق من الغنم، وي كانت سي ذات، ولا فريق من الخرفان. So, كل كل كولكتيف ناو نستعمله استعمال خاص، كمثال سرب، يعني سرب من الحمام، وي كانت سي سرب من الخرفان، أو العكس، وي كانت سي مش ممكن نقول قطيع من الحمام. طب نقول سرب من الحمام وقطيع من الخرفان أو الغنم نفس الشيء English We will study more رح ندرسهم أكثر كل واحدة و example سبعة تمام So far clear any questions So please if anyone has any question don't hesitate أي واحد عنده سؤال ما يتردد ممكن يسألني في أي وقت So now let's go to abstract noun. Abstract here acts concrete. So we studied concrete here. So if you remember concrete nouns. So concrete nouns اللي هما physical things الأمور الملموسة اللي بنشوفها وبنلمسها. The abstract عكسها. Okay. Let's have someone to read. Mr. Sneem, would you like to read? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. An abstract noun cannot be seen to touch it. It uh, can be a feeling, study of mind, a quickly and idea, an uh, oxane or uh, a particle time. Here are some examples. Very good. So an abstract noun cannot be seen or touched. Acts the opposite of concrete. Okay, we have concrete, we studied concrete. Okay, lax, axo. Concrete, we have concrete and abstract. So concrete, things we can see and touch. Umurli mumkin nilmis. Okay, nilmisha. And we can see. Or abstract, lax. The opposite. Umur lim, we cannot see or touch. Okay, this is the opposite. So let's have a look at the examples. Let's have someone to read. Ms. Sadil, would you like to read the examples, please? Yes. Anger, beauty, darkness, happiness, month, night, health, uh, partners, mm -hmm. peace, uh, pregnancy. Mm -hmm. I will read them again. Uh, summer. summer, wall. Very good. We have the first one, anger. What is anger in Arabic? Ghadab. Ghadab, very good. Beauty. Jamal. Jamal. Darkness. Mom. Happiness. Sa'ada. Month. Sure. Yes, night. Layl. Health. Ardo tabia. No. Earth. Sah. Earth, yes. Earth. Is al ard. Health, sahayu. Yes, very good. So uh, we have earth and we have health. Very good. Next one, patience. Patience. What's my patience? 
بيشنس مريض نو هذا بيشنت بس هاي بيشنس يس بيشنس غير عن بيشنس هو الصبر اوكي صبر بيشنس بيس بيس The opposite of war. Acts war. Salam. Naam. Exactly. Pregnancy. Hamil. Hamil. Correct. Summer. Safe. Safe. Last one is war. Har. Yes. So these are examples of abstract noun. Any kalimat? لا يمكن ما يمكنش تشوفها أو تلمسها. إيش كان معنى patience? Patience is sabr. Okay. Sabr. <coughs> so try to give me more examples of abstract nouns. Mm. Give me more examples. For example, we have idea. Thought. Smell. Natural. Again? Sabia. Sabia. Nature. Natural. Mm -hmm. Nature, can we can see nature? Yes, uh, nature. No, we can see nature. Ah, so yes. Things that we cannot see or touch. Can you see idea? So, umur la la Can you see idea? Mm -hmm. Hope. The Amal. Can I try to give me a more example? You can tell me in Arabic or we can translate in English if you don't have in English. No, I have Arabic. What can I say? I have a kalimat. Mumkin, Yani. نشوف ونلمس وكلمات مش ممكن نشوف ونلمس ممكن ويكنس ويكنس also yes ويكنس ويكنس يعني الضعف سادنس سادنس correct عكس سادنس هاي موجودة عندنا happiness موجودة you see so in general these are The words we will see more examples. I will send you, inshallah, in the group more examples of كل واحدة في هذا الأنواع الناو اللي درسناها كلها. We will see examples in all of them. So before we continue, let's have a quick exercise. So we تمرين بسيط سريع. This one here. This one. So here we have some words. Okay. We have table, teacher, love, Florida, sadness, Monday, herd, tribe, thought, dog, hope, litter. So we have common, proper, collective, abstract. So try to put each noun in the correct place. Okay, I will give you three minutes. How will I'm going to go? So if you have a notebook next to you, except common, except arba, four nouns, common from here. Then here, two nouns that are proper. Then two nouns, two collective nouns. And then last one, four abstract noun from here. Table, teacher, love, Florida, which is the name of the city in America. Sadness, Monday. Heard, tribe, thought, dog, hope, litter. You have three minutes. Try to put these words in the correct place. So litter, you know what was the meaning of litter? 
So if you don't have it, no, that's later. Later here, lahiqan. Later. Like this. Later. Letter? No. Tanya, letter. Like this. This one is litter. Litter, it means, uh, something that you throw. She tell me, litter. Okay? Okay. Yeah, we have three minutes. Try to put each noun in the correct place. Are you done? Khalasu, Lisa, you need more time? Embellish in uh, abstract. Everyone finished? And Shublo Khalas al Kul, Embellish us here. Everyone finished? Yes. If you need more time, we can have more time. Okay, you have one more minute. Yell. One more minute. One last minute. Yeah, let's start. Let's start correcting. Let's start with common. Who can tell me common, proper, collective? Let's start with abstract. Yeah, abstract is easier. Abstract noun. Sadness. Sadness. Okay, one by one. Monday. First one. Abstract. We have. Monday. The, the first word, what? Sadness. Sadness. You say sadness. Sadness. Let's go to... No, mm -hmm. Monday. Monday. Are you sure? No. We go back to it. No problem. Ellen, one more? Hope. Hope. Mm -hmm. Thought. Thought. One of them is, is wrong. No. Yeah, but let them see what they Monday. Monday. Yes. Monday. Yeah. Monday. Hot Love. Love. Uh -huh. yeah, very good. Let's uh -huh. go to collective. Collective now. You know, collective noun, no, 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 we have happiness or sadness, hope, and thought. 
So now we have table, teacher, herd, tribe, Florida, dog, Monday, and litter. So what is collective nouns? That is noun, collective nouns. I think uh, litter. No. So first, okay, I have a collective noun. So there is no Google to come up. I have a herd. So I have a herd. Herd, I mean, قطيع. Herd, herd of sheep, or herd of cows, herd of bulls. I mean, قطيع من ال الغنم. Herd. And we have. Dog. Say. Dog. Sorry. Dog. Fin. Which one? Collective. Less collective. We have only one. This dog is one. Ah, this is the dog. 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 So don't worry about this. يعني ما ما تشغل بالكم بهذه الأمور راح ندرس راح أعطيكم يعني list فيها كل الكلمات كل كلمة وعلى أي group نستعملها فيه. The herd نستعملها تقريبا للغنم وعندنا flock of birds flock نستعملها للحمام يعني سرب من الحمام tribe للناس مجموعة من الناس group of of people. So each collective noun راح أعطيكم كيف تستعمله. We have proper and common. Okay, proper noun, common noun. So first, let's remove this one. We have herd Florida and try proper Florida Monday. Yes, Florida and Monday, and the rest. الباقية common noun هي أسماء العادية. For example like people, people. Mm -hmm. like teacher. dog dog teacher, teacher. and let's add it. So common nouns يعني منسميهم common أو concrete هي الأمور الملموسة. Okay. Litter and last one is teacher. Is that clear? Wadah? So as we said, yes. So common nouns, yeah, it must be common or concrete. نفس المعنى. Okay, ما تتلخبطوا. So common, concrete, نفس المعنى. Common or concrete هم الكلمات اللي ممكن نشوف وألمس. Like table, dog, litter, teacher, book, computer, house. All of these are common, common, concrete noun. Okay? Proper noun, names of na places or things. Then we have collective, collective noun, as al majmuat, with herd, tribe, flock. And we have abstract. Abstract noun, kalimat il yil, mushmunkin al misa, mushmunkin nshufa, like sadness, love. Hope, thought, idea, and so on and so forth. So far, everything clear? Yes, yes. Saman. So if you have any questions, please you can ask, okay? Now we're going to do this exercise. So here, here we have the definition. Nouns are used to name general things. Example, girl, pencil, people, apple. So here you write the name of the type. You write either common, proper, collective, or abstract. Okay? So here, tiktib ism anur al ism. Here we have definition are used, for example, number two. Nouns are used to name special or specific things. We always use a capital letter for proper nouns. And then we we'll go to the other ones. Nouns are used to name a group of things. What are they? Show here. 
هل هي collective ولا proper ولا common ولا abstract last thing nouns are used to name an idea thought or feeling examples beauty fear happiness so you have one minute try to find the correct answer for each one of them and a try to find the correct answer so maybe common maybe it's this one or this one or this one or this one you choose so common is it now used to name general things or used for name special special specific things or are used to name a group of things or the last one are used to name idea thought or feeling then job or just one like few seconds عشان نخلي الكل يحط يكتب الاجابه وبعدين نجاوب كل واحد يجاوب على واحده I finish. Good. So cool to finish. Yeah, let's start. Let's start with Miss Sadil. Let's start with the first one. Can you read this one first? Okay, read the sentence and then give me the answer. Miss Sadil, can you answer? So let's go to someone else until she is free. Mr. Hassan, would you like to give me the answer for number one? For this one, please. Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah. So Read the sentence. Give me the answer and read it. Nouns are... What? I cannot see it. Is that clear? Yeah, yeah. can you... Oh, Here. Yeah, go up, go up, go up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here. Let's go to um, this way. I'm not telephone. Can you see now? You can, you can do zoom in on that, but okay. Come on, but here. Okay. Now is better? Yeah, it's cool. But yeah. Uh, nouns are uh, naming words. They are people, please, play places. The mm -hmm. eggs. The eggs. This or... one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, the first one, nouns are. Yeah, use it to name general things. things. So what are these? Common, proper, concrete, or abstract? Uh, for a name, common. Common. Are you sure? Common now? No, 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 no. The, the paper? I don't know. You choose. Uh, can you zoom out, please? <laughs> okay. So we have four types. We have concrete, common, and the common, proper, yeah, proper, 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 proper. Are, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. If they can, proper. Okay, let's write and then now if we mistake, we can correct later on. So the first one is proper. No problem. Proper. Let's go to number two. Let's have someone else to read. Uh, let's have Mr. Omar, would you like to read number two and give me the answer? Yes, uh, no, no, I used to name special or speak, uh, speak it. Special, special S or specific? No, things we uh, always, that's why we can talk about it. Okay, wait. <laughs> I always use uh, a capital a capital letter for uh, proper nouns. Examples: James, March, America. Yes. A good. Can you proper? Then asma manatuk. Proper. Yeah, I'm saying. So this is the proper. first one is common. <laughs> the first come one is common. common. Yes. Yeah, I tell you what you say. Yeah, are I, you want sure? you, I want you. I want to see. Are you sure? Let me take one second. 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 Let me take one second.
Number three. Let's have someone else read. Miss Sadil, I think. Can you read number three, please? Or Mr. Sneem? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Sneem, read number three. Miss Sadil, number four. Okay. okay. Yeah. Number Nouns three. are to name a group of things. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, chair, floor. A uh, coil, flock, uh, uh, crew, mm -hmm. uh, uh, collective. Collective, very good. Are you sure it's collective? Yes. Not abstract? Because... Are you sure? Yes. Okay, Miss Sadil, can you read the last one, please? Yes, nouns are used to, uh, to name. Okay. Uh, nouns are used to name an idea, thought, or feelings. For example, beauty for happiness, abstract. Very good. Abstract. Very good. So, so far, so good. Everything clear? No questions? No. Very good. This one is very, very simple. We have this different four types of, of nouns we have common yeah common concrete نفس الاسم common or concrete أمور اللي ممكن نلمسها ونشوفها proper يعني أسماء الأعلام or specific things أمور يعني very specific مثل اسم مكان اسم مستشفى اسم مدينة we use and we put capital letter لازم يكون capital letter في, في الكلمة أول الكلمة then we have collective nouns أسماء تبع الجماعات جماعة مجموعة من الأشياء أو من الحيوانات أو من العناصر فبنحطها collective nouns then we have last one is group a group last one is abstract يعني الكلمات اللي ما بنشوفها ولا بنلمسها okay like feelings beauty fear happiness so far so good let's move on to the next one okay we're done with types of nouns we're gonna do with Next one. So how we use the capital letters and when we use them. So capital letter and الحرف الأول حرف الأول من الكلمات نستعمل ضروري نستعمل capital letter. But first let's have an exercise then we can continue. Let's do this one. Let me zoom this one out. This one. Okay, this one here. Okay. Can you see the screen? Yes. Good. Let's do this one here. So we're going to finish this one first. Okay, good. This one. So using the capital letters, so let's have someone to read first. Can someone read who wants to read? Let's so Mr. Hassan, would you like to read? Yeah, I can. Thank you. Proper nouns and the adjective from from it from uh, proper nouns all uh, always start with the capital letter so do the uh, do the day of the week and day month of the year very good so using capital letters proper nouns so proper nouns and adjectives formed from proper nouns Always start with a capital letter. And that is the first capital letter. The first letter is the first So, do the days of the week. Even the days. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. When we write them, the first letter is the first letter. Okay? Then the months of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June. هذه الأسماء الشهور also 
الحرف الاول لازم يكون كبير كابيتلايز اوكي so let's have these proper nouns and adjectives كيف هنسويها so عندنا adjective what do you mean by adjective صفة صفة very good so adjective بشكل عام anything that describes a noun is an adjective يعني اي شيء يعطينا وصف يعطينا وصف للنوع فعندنا adjective يعطينا وصف للنوع I'll give you an example for example we have blue blue pen okay we have tall man we have beautiful okay flower so here we have different kind of words so first we have different kind of words first one we have pen we have man and we have flower these are nouns what type of nouns اي نوع من انواع النون هادو common proper abstract concrete collective common. this one is common common yes common nouns very good and then we have the other noun we have this one هذه الكلمه blue tall beautiful هذا شو نسميه؟ What is the name of this word and this word and this word? Adjective. Adjective. Very good. Why? Because it describes. تعطينا وصف لهذا الاسم. أي شيء يعطينا وصف للاسم اسمه adjective. Okay. Beautiful flower. هذه الفلاور كيف هي؟ Beautiful. Tall man. تعطينا صفة لهذا المان. Tall. طويل. Blue pen. قلم أزرق. Nice boy. Nice adjective. Boy is noun. Okay. Smart student. Smart is adjective. Student is noun. Is that clear? So anything that describes a noun is an adjective. For example, here, American. So American is adjective because it describes some American man. Australian woman, Belgian cat, English student, French teacher, Portuguese player. So anything that describes a noun, we call it misamihum adjective. Sifat. In Arabic, we say sifa. Okay, wadah? No, no. Good. So also, at the north, so here we said, next. ال capital letter في ال proper nouns okay هنا بنكتب ال capital letters في ال titles لما يكون عندي عنوان for example عنوان فيلم okay or عنوان كتاب okay capital letters are also used for title of people books plays films magazines so بنحط titles of people and we say title of people what do what do we mean We say title of people. عنوان الأشخاص. Title, for example, like Mr. So the M, we need to write Mr. Or Mrs. So the M must be capital. Okay? Or doctor. We say doctor. D must be capital. Okay? Dr. Brown. Okay? Dr. Smith, for example. The title of people, we need to put the capital in the title. The title, يعني هذا الحرف الأول, abbreviation. الحرف الأول من ال الاسم قبل الاسم. We say Mr. Sayyid, Sayyid Fulan. Okay, so we need to put this M capital, this M in Mrs. capital, D in Doctor capital. These are some examples. Mr. Hassan, would you like to read the examples, please? Yes. Mm -hmm. Read these examples, please. Miss Brown. No, this is Mrs. Brown. M Mrs. Brown. Mm -hmm. This one too. The, the secret garden. Yes. Uh, 
Um, I met summer night dream yeah. night dream. My fair lady. Correct. A princess Anna. Mm -hmm. A a tale of town. Two cities. Two cities. Uh, of two cities. Mm -hmm. The cocktail. Uh, party. Very good. Hamlet. Yes. So as we said, so we use capital letters for title of people like Mr., Miss, Mrs., Doctor. We need to put these in capital. Then we use for people the name of the names of the people: Smith, Brown, Ahmed. So all of them, you need to put capital letter. Then books, the names of the books. Okay, any book that you you find, you'll find that the first letter is capitalized. Okay, Hataloka. Even if you have two words, for example, the secret garden. So the and the T capital. S command capital, G command capital. So the secret garden. Half the first من كل كلمة, we need to put capital. Then films, for example, Titanic. You will find that the first letter in Titanic is the T, is capital. Okay, magazine the مجلات, اسم المجلة لازم يكون the first letter capital. Okay. And the same thing, we already studied this. Names of buildings or institution, the first also letter must be capital. So buildings and institutions start with the capital letter. Okay? The harf al awal min al kalimat taba. Buildings, asma al buildings, mabani, or institution, al maahid, maahid, or idara. You need to capitalize, and the first letter in every word must be capital. So, at Bristol University, for example, Istanbul University. So the I has to be capital. Let's write it down. For example, Istanbul University. So, as you see, the first letter is capitalized. In Istanbul, this one is capitalized. University, U is capitalized because it's a name of an institution. Conservative Party, National Gallery, British Museum, Guildford Cathedral, Surrey County Council. So as al buildings, we need to put the capital letter al al kalim. So we have about 10 minutes left. So if you have any questions for the Umur Kullahali Darasna so far, Munkin is Al. So let's go back and Namal Muraja Sariya. Let's start with the first one. So we have first one concrete noun. So who can tell me what are concrete nouns? من يقول لي شو معنى كنكريت نا؟ حاول بالإنجليش لو you can't ممكن تشرحه بالعربي. What are concrete nouns? مستر حسن كل واحد فيكم ما حيقول لي واحدة فيه يلا مستر حسن. Yes. What is a concrete noun? شو معنى كنكريت نا؟ I think he's talking about the names. Mm -hmm. I concrete think... noun. Concrete, common. نفس الشيء. Concrete or common. Ah, uh, I talking about the. يعني تتكلم عن الأشخاص. No. عن الأشياء الملموسة. يعني exactly. على العموم. Exactly. أشياء اللي بنشوفها ونلمسها. هي common. Yes. Common, concrete, نفس المعنى. Very good. Let's go, Mr. Omar. Would you like to give me... Let's go, proper nouns. Hey, it's كلم عن الاسماء. الاسماء الاماكن والعلام. Very good. Proper noun. اسماء الاماكن والعلام. Let's go to collective nouns. Miss 
تسنيم انا ما حضرت معكم الكولكتيف لكن الكولكتيف عباره عن قطيه او مجموعات بالضبط هي اسماء المجموعات اوكي ما مجموعات قطيع الغنم سرب من الحمام يعني مجموعة من الأشياء ونعطيهم اسم. Very good. Last one we have abstract noun Miss Tadil. Can you give me the answer for the last one? Abstract nouns. For someone else, maybe she's at work so she can't answer. Let's have someone else. Mr. Omar Hassan, just name anyone for you. One of you, give me the answer for. Can see it and touch it. Can see it and touch it. Very good. So now give me an example. كل واحد فيكم يعطيني four example. Example على كل واحدة فيهم. One proper, one common, one collective, and one abstract. Proper, common, teacher, dog. Mm -hmm. Good. نعطيني the other one. Abstract or concrete. Yeah. Monday, March, April. هذا شو؟ Uh, the for uh, proper proper correct okay yeah for the sadness uh, and كم يا حسن آخر تعطيني كلهم بعدين نروح لا مسرع ما يعطيني كله الثالث uh, شنو كان اسمها هي أصلا عندنا collective now collective وعندنا uh -huh. عندنا آخر شيء the abstract uh, collective like uh... قطيع هو بس صراحة ما أعرف شنو بالإنجليزي يعني. No problem heard. أو أنا راح أبعث لكم إن شاء الله بالجروب كل هذه الأمور heard. يعني قطيع. Okay. And last one. The last one like. Yeah, أشياء غير ملموسة like love. Yes, very good. Someone else will give me four types. Mr. Omar or Tasneem. نعم. يلا Mr. Omar. Give me one proper, proper noun. America. Good. Common collective. noun. Collective. اللي بدك. A collective uh, tribe. A قبيلة. Tribe. Yeah, tribe. Tribe. Very good. Uh, as a common, a proper. Abstract. Common. The uh, proper. فضل فضل عدنا concrete or abstract. كونكريت موندي لا كونكريت شيء ملموس شيء ملموس شيء ملموس بلاي ستيشن صح بلاي ستيشن صح كوريكت لاست ون از ابستراكت سمثينغ ذات وي كان نوت سي اور تاتش شو اسمه ممكن بيشنس بيشنس يس صبر فيري جود Excellent. So, Mr. Tasneem, would you like to give me four examples? Uh, common uh, apple. Mm -hmm. uh, common what? Proper apple. apple. Okay. Proper what? And proper uh, Monday or mm -hmm. good uh, collective uh, team. Team, correct. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, Abstract. Abstract. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful. Very good. Excellent. Miss Sadir, can you give us an example or you are busy? Anyway, you have any questions about today's lesson? ASILA Lalium? No. No questions. Okay. So I will send you some things and, and some homework. Can I will send you some things? وكمان I will send you homework واجب you do it and we will correct it tomorrow تمام؟ okay. okay so if you have no questions I'll see you tomorrow إن شاء الله إن شاء الله إن شاء الله see you tomorrow